Let's talk about the pistol grip versus the non-pistol grip nozzles. What makes them different and why do we have the option to go with one or the other and which one's better to go with as far as pistol grip or no pistol grip. As you can see here, I have two styles for us to see. Traditionally, when nozzles first came, on, came into the fire service, they had no pistol grip. Later on down through the years, through technology and, and innovation, we added on to the nozzle a pistol grip handle to hold on to help us to uh, disperse water from the hose lines. Ever since that time, we've had this pistol grip with us and the debate has been uh, ongoing as to pistol grip or no pistol grip. When we have a pistol grip on the actual nozzle, it draws the firefighter to want to hold the nozzle in an incorrect fashion. What I mean by that is you become a six shooter firefighter. I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I pick up this nozzle and go to flow water, we're drawn to put our hand here and want to flow water in this position. What happens is I'm putting all the nozzle reaction force onto my biceps and my shoulders and forearm to hold that nozzle and hose line for a duration of time. What happens after a while is as I start getting fatigued, I start to lose this position and the hose starts to pull back on me and I start losing control and now I'm ineffective. When I'm also holding my nozzle like a six shooter on my hip, as you see here, I also can't really do a whole lot of water dispersion. What I mean by that, if I'm down low on the ground and I'm doing a fire attack in an actual interior structure, if I got to do an O pattern or an indirect pattern or a T or a Z pattern, it's hard to move that nozzle around as the, the nozzle positioned here on my hip. Okay, So this is where it draws me into doing this in a very, I guess, incorrect, ineffective manner as far as nozzle, uh, nozzle positioning, nozzle holding. By holding the nozzle here, as you see on my hip with the pistol grip, should my team need to withdraw back a bit and they're pulling back on the hose, if I'm not holding the nozzle tight enough and they pull back too fast and too quickly, I may lose that nozzle. There's no safety margin for me to grab onto to say, hold, oh, stop, hold up, without losing my nozzle. So holding the nozzle in the pistol grip is not going to be very advantageous or effective when doing interior structural firefighting operations. The nozzle without the pistol grip makes you have to hold the nozzle in the right way. As you've seen before, if I want to be in a defensive position, I can grab the nozzle with my arm, kneel down on it, and that's the perfect length from my body to the nozzle bail and tip to open and close and control it. But if I'm doing an interior operation where I'm going in to do interior firefighting duties, I want to have that same safety margin of hose in front of me. So having no pistol grip makes me have to hold the hose and the nozzle in the correct fashion. Up on the armpit nice and tight, I got a good wide stance with my legs and my feet to combat, to combat the nozzle reaction force against me. I can easily do my patterns both in front, above, and behind should I have to. If the hose line is being pulled back away from me for a withdrawal or to back up, to retreat, or to regroup, I got a safety margin of three, two to three feet to grab onto that nozzle and that hose to stop it from being lost and losing my water protection. So do I go with the pistol grip or no pistol grip? It's your decision. Want to hold the hose in the correct, effective manner? Go with no pistol grip. If you want to be a six shooter, go with the pistol grip.